Hi, Bandit. What are you doing over there? Do you guys see him? <laughs> but hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel. So Chip and I actually just got back from New Bern, North Carolina. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably know. But we were out there for like the week, weekend-ish um, for my good friend, Miss Jenny Ernst wedding. I was one of her bridesmaids. It was absolutely beautiful. It was so much fun. It was a lot. It was just a good time. But anyways, non revving is always a little hit or miss. And I'm back on call. We're finishing out the rest of my reserve month. So I didn't know exactly how it was gonna work, what was gonna work. So I went ahead and bid on late night airport standby again. This one's a little bit different shift, but I know you guys are probably like, cat again, again with the airport standby, but yes, it guarantees that I will get a late sign in. So that's why I did it. But this one is only gonna be a four hours. It is the last shift of airport standby. So it's like from like, 8.03, it's something a little funky. I think it's like 8.03 to like midnight, like 12.03, something like that. It's only four hours. But before we get into a little bit more details about what is going on today and some behind the scenes stuff, um, I do wanna go ahead and thank today's sponsor. So today's video is being sponsored by GlassesUSA.com. You guys know at this point, I'm basically like their number one fan. I am obsessed with them. They are constantly on my channel supporting me, which I am so thankful for because GlassesUSA.com cuts out the middle man. So this allows them to offer you up to 70% off retail pricing, but you're not going to lose any of that high quality that you would expect at any glasses store because GlassesUSA.com makes all of their lenses in their own state-of-the-art lab. So you can shop all of your eyewear needs from the comfort of your home without even leaving. And GlassesUSA.com offers over 9,000 different styles of eyeglasses and sunglasses. They offer in-house brands like Muse and Amelia E. They also offer designer brands like Ray-Ban, Gucci, Oakley, Prada, Fendi, Balenciaga, and so many more. They have every conceivable style, shape, safety glasses, kids glasses, boarding glasses that you can imagine. So whatever you are looking for for yourself, they are bound to have it. And you can get a complete pair of eyeglasses or sunglasses starting at only $30 dollars and free basic prescription lenses are included with every frame not to mention that you can also add almost any kind of prescription to almost any kind of lenses including single vision bifocal progressive lenses and one of my favorite things about glassesusa.com is the fact that they offer you a risk-free shopping experience so you can expect free shipping and returns 100 percent money back guarantee with a full refund within 14 days of delivery no questions asked as well as a 365 day product warranty and not just that, but if you're also worried about what the glasses are going to look like on your face, they do also offer a virtual mirror. So you can get online, upload a photo of yourself, move the crosses on top of your eyes, and this will line up the glasses perfectly on your face. So you can actually see what all of the glasses are going to look like before buying. So if you want to shop any of the five pairs of amazing eyeglasses or sunglasses I have shown you today, or just find a pair of glasses that's going to be your own style, your own fit, your own flavor, your own little spice on life, I will have all of the links down below in the description box for you to click on. Once again, thank you to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring today's video and many of my videos. I'm obsessed with you guys. Y'all know it. I know it. We all know it. But anyways, we need to move into the kitchen. I got a little cooking to do, but also we got to talk about these weather conditions outside because they're concerning. <laughs> hi, Bandy. You say hi. What you doing over here? You just lurking around? Where's mama? Smoke, smoke. Why do I have a good feeling she is under this bed right now? Mama. Oh, no, I was wrong. Where's Miss Smokey? Oh, there she is. Hi, Mama. What are you doing over here with the plant? You need a hairbrushy. Were you guys playing? What's all this? <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, so we are gonna be making some ground beef and some rice. I don't know if you guys remember, but from this last video, that is exactly what I made. I told you guys it's one of my favorite like post-workout meals or just a meal in general. It's so easy and it's just yummy. I love it to death. The only thing is I'm back out of the gym once again because my wrist is swelling. Again, I have another doctor's appointment with my rheumatologist coming up. So we're gonna just have to check things out. It's just been crazy. But anyways, we're gonna be making this with some rice and some stuff. But before that, we gotta talk about this weather outside. We have got to talk about it because earlier it was raining. It was raining pretty good. And we can take off in rain. Like planes are fine to operate in rain. What they're not fine to operate under is like thunder lightning combination, like a thunderstorm. And later on it does say it's supposed to be a thunderstorm. So as y'all can see, it's supposed to be raining and we even got a little bit of thunderstorming going on here. And then we got some thunderstorms tonight. 
and all through. Now this is Fort Worth. So usually like the airport registers, I think it's Grapevine on the app. Maybe it's a little different. I don't think so because we're really not too far off from the airport. I'm guessing it's gonna look about the same, but we're supposed to get some thunderstorms later on tonight while I'm doing airport standby. So that's really gonna spice it up. Crews can time out, planes might not go. They might have to start like canceling, rebooking or delays, all sorts of stuff. So I'm sure it's gonna be a very interesting night. But for now, let's go ahead and get to cooking and then we are gonna move on to bidding for tomorrow. And I'll kind of explain how bidding for trips works when you're doing like late night standby as far as like getting trips, not getting trips, that sort of stuff. So let's do this first. I have this feeling, baby. haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard. Cause you're in my space and now I'm front of me I am about to bid also gonna add a Diablo can y'all see that I'm gonna add a Diablo sauce I told you guys I'm obsessed to like the Taco Bell I wish they would sell this by the bottle I know they sell like their their other hot sauces in the grocery store but I have yet to see this one and this is the best one by far but here here's our lunch and we're gonna go ahead and bid so Daily always goes before future, essentially, which means the day of is more important than tomorrow. So whatever you get assigned for tomorrow, that's all good and well, but if they assign you anything the day before and it ruins your trip, daily counts before future. Today I'm good for three days, so by tomorrow I'm good for two, so I'll bid for like some kind of like one or two days that I want or either to remain on call or whatever. But if they give me something on standby tonight, that will trump whatever they may or may not assign me tomorrow. Hopefully that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, just ask down below. Now, because my standby shift is so late and it doesn't end until like 12.03, they are going to put me on the latest on-call shift if I don't get a trip, which would be from 3 p.m. until 3 a.m. because you do have to have 12 hours of rest in between duty to the next assignment. I believe it's 12 hours. It might be a little different, but I'm pretty sure it's 12 hours. So anyways, I'm probably going to opt just to remain on call um, unless there's something that just like really speaks to me. That's kind of my plan here is just go ahead and just remain on call and see what happens tomorrow on that late wrap. Because again, I wouldn't even have to start until 3 p.m. So they wouldn't assign me anything before that. They can't call me for anything before that. So that's late enough that I'm like, I'm perfectly happy with that. I'm probably overwhelming you with information, but hopefully I'm like breaking it down enough that I understand. That's basically what's going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the trips, see if there's anything I possibly want. If not, I am gonna just bid for that, that late wrap. I will go ahead and eat this in the meantime. But also, are you guys watching the Johnny Depp case? Y'all might have seen it in the back when I was cooking. Like I have just had like the live program on. I'm like in it. I know some people, it's not for everybody. Some people don't wanna watch it. It's not for them and that is fine. But for me, I'm like this, I'm like, I'm glued. I'm watching all of it. it. It's just, I would I would love to be a lawyer. Like maybe in like a past life or later in this one or something. I think that would be so much fun. So let's go ahead and bid and eat and I will let you guys know what I came up with. <laughs> only a shot away from me to be my everything cause you are only a shot away. For this week's meals, it looks like we have balsamic glazed chicken, Thai almond chicken, chicken and mushroom marsala, barbecue, pork sloppy joe, potato, leek, mash and grilled chicken, and then sour cream and chive chicken. So I'm gonna let Chip come home and that way he can pick his three meals that he's gonna want and I'll take the other three meals. We also have just this one left from last week because we were out of town for most of the week. And this one is creamy cilantro jalapeno chicken. It looks super, super good. All their meals, like Chip and I have talked about this, like every meal is so good. I'm waiting for a meal that I'm like, meh, but it hasn't come yet. 
it hasn't come yet. And I love that it's just like super, super easy, super quick to pack. I can make it at the hotel in the microwave for like two minutes. It's all it takes two minutes. I can make them on the plane in the little plane ovens. So they're just great for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the fridge. Chip can pick out his, and then we'll probably take like two of them and then the other part of the rice and ground beef. And that's what we're gonna pack for today. So I'm gonna be using my stow and go, which is just like my hanging closet. So I'm basically all packed up. I have some shoes down here and a handbag with some deodorizers. I have my makeup bag, my Dyson back there, my skincare, some clothes, different outfits, an extra uniform, um, sweaters and stuff, swimsuit and all of the extras. And then the rest is good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this up, put it in there. And then all that's left is just getting dressed. Pulling up to the employee lot, I saw lightning. I haven't seen any planes taking off or landing, which basically tells me that there is a ground delay right now. It's getting kind of yellow, which scares me as a Texan. If anybody else knows, like when you start getting that like yellow, really eerie, sometimes it's even still though. That's when you gotta watch out for the tornadoes. It's raining pretty hard and I did look up by the airport to see like what the delay status, what everything's looking like. And I'm just on flight stats, so. Here is the Dallas airport, and as you can see, is like right here it says delay status is at a five, which is the highest it can be, and then over here it says it is excessive. So I don't know exactly like when all of this started, but again, no planes going, no planes coming that I can see. Yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be an interesting one. I told y'all as soon as like I was at the house, I was like, this is gonna be an interesting one. So there's the lightning. Um, and it basically says it's going to be thunderstorming pretty much the entire time I am here and onward. So we're going to see what happens. I didn't bring a raincoat. I don't know why. I didn't bring a raincoat because like I didn't think about it. So I'm about to get poured on for sure. But let's go ahead and get our stuff out and go sign in and see what's going on at the airport. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I'm at the bus stop right now and this is so bad. I was like trying to run here as fast as possible and I'm just so rained on. I might stop and like blow dry my hair once we get inside the airport. I do have some editing to do and that's what I was planning on doing, but we might have to do some touch-ups before then. But it looks like our ride is here, so let's go. Stuck in the stormy So my hair is an absolute mess. We're just, we're just not gonna talk about it. We're gonna skip over it. But you guys, the scariest thing happened to me when I was getting on the shuttle. It was like me and another flight attendant, we were about to get on to come into the airport and lightning like had to have struck like right next to us. It was so loud, like louder than I've ever heard. It sounded just like, like a super loud gunshot and then just a flash of lightning. Like both of us were like about to scream. Like we jumped, it was absolutely terrifying. I'm not even being dramatic. Like it was so bad. We're finally, we're finally here and through security. I'm still like a little shaken up. Like that was intense. But right now it is 7.50. So we will start standby in about 13 minutes, I believe. And we're gonna be here for four hours. So I'm just gonna get my laptop out, start doing a little editing, hanging out I'm in the potty area that I'm normally in. So that's the plan. And I will check back in with you guys whenever we get a call of some sort. Science told us how we could reach the other side and you start to doubt I don't blame you cause I feel the same cause I might get all the way home for so long so I had to leave our little pod area I like it because it's just like little quaint it's quiet you get like your own space which I love except all of a sudden out of nowhere like some people came and I was like okay but then some more people came and some more people came and some more people came and the next thing you know like every seat up there was like completely full and then when I went back downstairs and I saw the gate it is London Heathrow <laughs> that music is intense it was um, London Heathrow and it's delayed by an hour so I think a lot of the people that went up there are like trying to catch that London flight but right now 
now we have an hour and 10 minutes left and that is it. So we're gonna have to see what happens. You guys, I am once again soaking wet. So the airport was still pretty busy of people with, sorry, excuse me, the airport was still pretty busy with people trying to reschedule their flights or waiting on delayed flights to go. But my standby time is up. I'm absolutely soaking. There's water, <laughs> it looks like I'm almost sweating. There's water in my in-flight shoes. My uniform is wet. I put my bag in my seat to move it over there and now I'm just completely soaked. So I am gonna go ahead and head home. The least you can do on this one is go ahead and give that video a big old thumbs up, press that subscribe button, and I will see you guys most likely tomorrow. Good night.